Hello there, young people. Flying wine here again. Can I ask you, are your twists hit or miss? Do they look like... When they should look like... Bummer. But luckily, I'm here to teach you five abdominal complex exercises to help perfect your twist. Here we have the infamous windshield wipers, a variation of the leg raise specifically designed to engage your obliques. You'll need a bar for this and a very sturdy leg raise because you'll have to hold a pike position like so. Here it is from the side view. Once you have your pike position down, you're going to slowly start rotating your hips side to side like so. A good starting off point for this exercise is to get the motion down horizontally before you get it vertical. Pike out front and rotate to the side. Eventually you'll want to be able to do this motion in a full 360 degree arc. This exercise variation is called Around the World. Next we have a variation on the V-up move. I call this V-up rollovers. Pretty self-explanatory, but first you have to master the V-up. Now, for the variation, what you're going to try and do is roll over without touching your feet or hands to the ground like so. V, back down, roll over, V at the top, back down, roll over the opposite way. Just like that. In addition to engaging your obliques, this will also use the small of your back as you'll have to balance on your stomach in the middle of your rollover. Next up we'll have declined fighter crunches. You can also do this movement hanging, though for this video I will just show you the easiest variation which is sitting with an object that is around your knee height behind you to prop your legs on, like so. Legs up, and we're going to bring opposite elbows to opposite knees. Just like that. Here it is from the false side view. They're up to opposite knees. Just like that. And of course, we're breathing out every time we go up. This exercise helps to get the body used to working in towards the core. No matter which way you're twisting, eventually you're going to have to close your body in tight. Next up, we're back on the floor with a very Instagram looking exercise. Now, at first I was on the fence about this move, but the 360 push-up is a fantastic move for learning to twist in time for your descent. What I mean by this is that the twist cannot start on the ground and it can't start too late in the air. You'll have to find the sweet spot and that is what this move is perfect for. Now performing a true 360 degree push-up should be very fast and looks something like this. However, there are ways to work towards it. One of the most popular ways that you see on social media a lot is bringing one foot up to the middle and then being able to have more time in the air to twist. That looks like this. Did you see the extra step? Here it is from the side view. This is a good way to start off learning the move so that you can perfect it later. One more time, Instagram version, real version. Instagram step. Real version. Last on our list is an exercise that is not so much for muscle building as it is for proprioception. This movement you'll see a lot of times with ice skaters and gymnasts. I don't know what they call it, but I refer to it as the 180, 180, 360 because you're going to do 180, 180, 360. Just like this. This is to help you time for the spin in the air. You'll see that you can spin a lot faster if you bring your arms all the way in across your chest, Wakanda forever if you want, cross your arms, do this, whatever you need to. So the idea is to be able to spot for the 180 and then eventually bring in your twist for the 360. I recommend going both ways because this is a very simple movement, so why not, you know? If you ever wanna go ambidextrous on your tricks, this is an easy way to get started. As always, you can ramp up the difficulty 
by throwing in more spins or trying to land on one foot or something like that. I like to throw in a 720 every now and again. So I 180, 180, 360 one way, hit a 720 the other. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video on conditioning the entirety of the abdominal complex on twisting movements. These are the exercises that I use to clean up my doubles as well as work on different kick techniques and get that extra spin that I needed for a good solid hit for all of my bag work. Join me next time when I show you how to condition the entire abdominal complex and the glutes for whipping motions. These are for moves like rise, push down rise, uh, loser, uh, any kind of swing, and aerials. That's all for now. Fly and wine, out.